Hello everyone, it's Sister Collapse, and I'm back yet again, playing Age of Engineering. In every two episodes, I did a fair amount, so let's go take a look and to get to new things. Um, first off, I made this. My Dark Solarium Jet Plate, and it's done. I said I was going to do it about two episodes ago. I finally made it. So, yeah. Bunch of these Dark Solarium Migots. Pulsating Crystals, Solarium, Dark Steel. Uh, the actual thrusters, uh, you need the Flight Control Unit. So, Solvile with the Bat, and Flight Control Unit. Not a big deal. Um, you got to do all the thrusters, though. So, <laughs> a little bit of grind there. And uh, outside of that, I guess this... I think this is the only part. It took uh, 60 conductive iron. Because each one of these conductive iron uh, armor platings take uh, 10 of it. So, yeah. That and... I think this is the only thing you use silicon armor iron for. Oh, you need it on the conductive. But other than that, just combine it all together. Uh, that and a vibrant capacitor and ender crystal. So, Silvile uh, with an enderman and a vibrant crystal. And you're good to go there. So I have that now, and uh, I'll only be using it when I really want to travel fast uh, or a large distance because, well, this thing is very, very fast. It isn't fun to watch. It isn't fun to watch. It'll give people motion sickness. I've seen people do their entire playthroughs with it sprinting everywhere, and it's just, it's hard to watch. Anyway, that's that. It is done. Um, over here, I made two new spawners. So I got a Enderman spawner and a blue slime spawner. These are the powered spawners from Ender IO. So just a broken spawner plus the soul vial that you want. Uh, and yeah, you can make them in there. Combine them together, I should say, in a soul binder. And then uh, combine that with a powered spawner and uh, the new broken spawner or the new uh, spawner of the type that you want inside of Anvil. And then you get a powered spawner. Uh, I've been using this one here, this blue slime one. This one's gonna go in the mob farm. I just haven't done it yet. It just needs to get there, and I'm probably going to let it run for a couple hours and turn it off and never use it again. I honestly just need enough blue slime for enough blue slime crystals to get us through the pack. Um, this one here, the Enderman one, I'm going to leave that one in the base. It's actually for making soul vials of Enderman, because um, you need that for quite a few recipes um, in the soul binder. Well, main one is for the Ender Crystals. Where is it? Right there. Ender Crystals. Bam. So, yeah, that, which I needed one for the jet plate, which led me to start doing this. And all everything I did in between episodes is all stuff that I felt would have been just tacking on to a video. It's just little bits and bobs that need to be done. I just didn't really need to do it. Like, just just no reason to do it in a video. Um, so here I'm actually making Dew of the Void. So Dew of the Void is a little grindy recipe from Ender.io. So you need new distillation. Uh, the grains of pisality, which is a pulsating crystal ground down. Then grains of the end, which is an ender crystal ground down. <laughs> uh, then that makes do with the void. So it is a bit of grindy recipe. So I did automate it a bit. I guess it's more of an assembly line. It's not really automation. I'm going to make about two tanks of this fluid. Uh, the main reason for making this fluid, I should probably say, is... Uh, let's go here. Matter... Is for these. I want to get the matter receivers and the matter transmitters. I'm going to be using these later in the pack to, you know, teleport around. So I just figured I'd get it done now. Um, you need the ender crystals to make the telepod blocks for Ender IO. These are a teleportation system of their own for Ender IO, but no one uses it <laughs> because you have to make the do of the void and you have to keep adding it. It's kind of like their inventory panels where you got to keep adding nutrient distillation. Uh, it takes that in RF. Um, these ones are just much easier to, to maintain once you have them. Uh, but I have to make these, and each one takes two buckets of Dew of the Void. So they both do. They just take different staffs. This one's Rod of Return, and this one's Staff Traveling. Um, but yeah, Dew of the Void, it's automated somewhat. It's not. It's still a little hands-on, but like I said, I'm only going to do about two tanks worth, and then call it a day. Um, let's go down here. Bam. Oh, I keep forgetting that I added this here. I have travel anchors on, autocraft. Um, just finished off this room here, nothing special. Here I added two more spawners. Uh, one is actually for wither skeletons, so it takes bones, netherrack, and a food. And this one is actually for ghast, so again, ghast tears, netherrack, food. And uh, these ones were kind of a pet project. I just did these ones for fun. <laughs> I could have just as easily made power spawners, set them up, put them in the mob farm, let them run for a couple of hours and never use them again. Cause that's effectively how much of these items I actually need. Um, I just need the gas tears for empowered and Nori for the, uh, you know, the crafting recipe. 
and I need necrotic bones uh, for um, the empowered void crystals. I just wanted to automate this a bit because I can like flick this lever, turns on the shield, <laughs> brings it to gas, kills it. Uh, I have uh, you know redstone conduit going there, leading from there, goes into these which are being fed with food. Uh, it, it was a personal pet project for stuff that I could use this for in the future. Uh, just something I want to try out. If I was doing it in a solo world, I would have set this up, but didn't see a point of doing a video on it because, well, we already did it. The only thing I added was redstone conduit, basically, to set a signal and hook it up to levers. And okay, what are we going to get today? Well, first off, it's nighttime. I don't want it to be nighttime. I want to be able to control the day and night cycles and also make it so it can't rain. So I came across this here. This is the weather controller. It is from Calculator. We are going to use this. Uh, I have tons of electrical diamonds. I have tons of nether stars. Well, about 80 nether stars. I have about 700 of these electric diamonds for a future setup. I pretty much have everything I need for massive conductor mass, uh, conductor mass setup. But I don't need the RF yet. But uh, we're going to make these. We're going to need some daylight sensors. So we're probably going to need some... How much of this we have? We probably don't have enough of that. No way we have enough of that, actually. So let's just make more. Go here, here. Daylight sensors. We're going to need eight of these. So let's make eight of them straight up. Uh, here. Here. We also need some buckets, probably. Going to need seven of these. So let's do that. Uh, we're going to take those. We're going to throw them in a calculator. There we go. Put that there. Put that there. There we go. And there we go. Uh going to take all but that and throw those in there. We're going to make two weather controllers. There we go. And uh, that's pretty much all we need. We're going to head upstairs, go here, here. We're going to grab a power cell. We're going to plop that puppy down right there. Go to weather controller, weather controller, daylight sensor, and rain sensor. This one we are going to switch to rain off. And uh, basically it's going to wait for it to rain. Uh, if it rains and this has a million RF, well, it'll turn it to daytime. Uh, this one here is basically waiting for the daytime for a signal, and then it'll turn it to day. We don't want that. We're going to invert this daylight sensor by shift right clicking, and uh, well, it's going to start buffering. Once it hits one million RF, boom, done. Just like that, we can control the day and nighttime. So that is pretty cool. Something I wanted, and uh, we have it now. So let's look at where we're headed. We want to start progressing. Uh, the next mods we need to get into is actually uh, Tech Reborn. That is the next mod. Um, and I've never touched it, but I have done some looking at it. And uh, it seems a little odd. Anyway, um, the next one we need to make is an Industrial Grinder. And we also need the Blast Furnace. You don't have to make the Blast Furnace. You can also make the Arc Furnace from Immersive. Which we may do because that thing is fast. Uh, this Blast Furnace I don't think is anywhere near as fast. But... Uh, we definitely need the industrial grinder. So the industrial grinder, let's take a look at it real quick. What it does is break down. It's basically, it's kind of like, uh, I guess an ore washing plant. You kind of get extra resources out of things. So you can throw in netherrack and get netherrack and gold nuggets. You know what I mean? So you get secondaries. I guess it's another way of pro pro mm, processing ores. Um, but you use it to make bauxite dust. That is one. And you use it to make, there's also the rubies, the ruby dust. I don't think you have to make the ruby dust in here, but I think it then goes into electrolyzer, if, I, if I'm if i correct. Uh, and goes into here. No, nope. no, no, no. Electrolyzer, go to use. Apparently electrolyzer is used for this. That, that That's wonderful. Use. Oh, there we go. I'm doing the wrong stuff. But I think it goes through here. That's a... Uh, like there's so many weird little ores so right there there's ruby dust and that turns it into chrome dust that is one of the materials we need uh we also need uh titanium and you get it from here so this is bauxite 12 bauxite dust apparently gives you two small piles of titanium which is horrible you're gonna need a ton of it apparently because i think yeah four of it turns into one <laughs> which is horrible so you're gonna need a lot of bauxite I could uh, set up my extractor, not my extractor, my excavator for a bauxite vein. That's out that way, which I might end up doing. Um, but anyway, also, this uh, industrial grinder, there's something else I noticed that was a little odd about it. It takes, where is it? Right here. 
It takes 64 of all things EU a tick, which is really weird for EU because EU usually is 32 or 128, etc. So you're actually going to have to send multiple packets at this thing, which is just a really odd. Um, how I'm, I'm going to probably set these up. They're multi-block, so I'm going to probably set them up. Not here, not in this little space between the floor, <laughs> but in these little platforms out here, kind of build a little rooms off here and set them up here. Um, so I'm going to need power up here. So I was thinking I'd work on solars. Uh, I see two solars. Uh, I'm going to work on those anyway for the future because they produce massive power and you kind of automate pretty much the making of them. So yeah, um, the ones I want to go for today are actually the hybrids. I think these produce 128 EU a tick that I could then take transformers to, which I've already made some transformers here. Uh, Plus, I have them on AutoCraft. These things are super cheap. But they'll be able to take the 128 and break it down to one thir uh, Sorry, the 32 EU t uh, packets and uh, make it so we don't have to deal with that. I've also set up the crafting for the solars because I had everything on AutoCraft to make the generators. And uh, so if you look here, I had everything on AutoCraft for here. So I already had this. I already had that. And I already had that. So I just had to make the recipe. And then I just had to make the recipe for this because all of this is on AutoCraft. So I already have tier one solars, but these are the ones that only produce one EU a tick. So we need to automate this one and this one, and then we can go to work. So that is what I'm saying. That is what I'm doing. We're going to go to work on that. So uh, let's take a look at the advanced solars. Let's actually, actually, let's do some crafting first. Advanced solars here. We need stuff so we can actually make stuff for the recipe. So we're going to make some of this uh, reinforced glass. Uh, we already have that on our craft. We have that. Don't have radiant uranium. Let's do that. I have uranium on our craft. Uh, don't need that yet. Actually, I could do that. Do I want to do that? Um, I guess so. I actually think I can do most of that glass on AutoCraft now, so let's go here. I think I have pretty much everything. Let's do that. Oh, yeah, that's one recipe. There we go. Radiant uranium. Done. And I don't know if I can do these. Can I? I can. There we go. There's a big chunk of it done. Don't have to worry about that. So, boom. Boom and boom. There we go. Uh, then we would have to go here. This is the next big part. So radium reinforcement plate. Then you go here to here to here. And uh, I guess we're going to need uh, iridium ingots. So we'll need iridium ore. Oh, all my iridium is in here. Let's go grab a bunch of that. Actually, let's grab all of it. I also made this too. Scenarium parts because we need these. So the scenarium parts are just in the molecular transformer. With, oh, that's the wrong one. I want the parts. There we go. It is just uh, glowstone. I just want the recipe. There we go. Glowstone in here, 1 million EU, and you get a scenario part. So I did a stack of those. Um, just time. That's all they are. Anyway, throw that in there. Let's get all this stuff in here. So we actually have iridium in here. Because we're at the point where we're, we're going to start using a lot of iridium. So uh, let's get this on AutoCraft here. So we needed Irid. We need to do the creation of Iridium Migots. So let's do this. Let's throw this into a compressor. Just so we have an ingot for the recipe. There we go. There's one right there. Go here. Change that to that. Get that out of there. And there we go. There's that crafting recipe. Let's go throw... Oh, I could just do that here, couldn't I? Let's go to a compressor. Doesn't matter which one, I guess. Just do that and throw that stuff in there. Oh, what did I just put in the compressor? What? Did I just try to put the actual ingot in the compressor? I did too, didn't I? Well, when you're a derp, you're a derp. There we go. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's go over here. Let's grab this. Let's go into this, that. Should be able to make that now. There we go. What is that even called? I don't even know what I'm making. Reinforce iridium iron plate. Just uh, big long words and with the word iridium thrown in with it. 
There we go. Let's make one of these. That's done. Should be able to go to the next stage of this. Advanced solar. We have this now. We can make one of, the, of these, which is radiant reinforced plate. Throw that down there. There we go. That should be good. Uh, we need to make one of those, actually. Let's make one. There it is. And that takes scenarium. So there you go. Or the scenarium part, I should say. And then we should be able to... Can we just make this now? No, not even close. Let's make the glass. Let's make three of these. There we go. What else did we need here? We had advanced alloys. Oh, I haven't made the solars yet. Let's make some solars. Let's make like eight of these. Just so they're on hand. There we go. How's that going? What's it need? Just a couple iron plates and it's done. And... Let's see here. I need what was in the bottom right corners of these. Oh, I need some uh, advanced advanced uh, circuits. Let's just do like four real quick. There we go. And uh, see where we're at now. We got everything now. So there's our second tier. All done. Well, let's uh, do that there. There we go. And let's make just one of these right away. We can craft up more later, but I need one to be able to get to the next uh, next stage. So let's go to solar. Go to here, tell us craft. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. No, it was instant because we've got everything on hand. And the hybrids. So what do we need here? We need an enriched scenario, which I should be able to just straight up make, I hope. Let's go to hybrid, generadium. So we already automated that, so that's not too bad. Should be able to do that. Let's go here. So that one, that part's already done. Let's go here. I actually want to do this. Just to get an idea here. So we're going to need some more of those advanced plates. Let's grab two. Just so they're on hand. And let's make one of these, I guess. Get that done. And then I guess all we need are the iridium plates there. So we need iridium reinforced plates, but that's nothing. That's really nothing. Um, well, it's, it's not nothing. I mean, it's iridium, but for an actual automation of a crafting recipe, that is nothing. So let's do that. Let's throw that there. There we go. And where are they at? Iridium reinforced plates, craft two of those. Bam, and hybrid solars can we do it we can let's set up the crafting for it oh I don't have anything I thought I had all this stuff oh all the stuff's right here I, I do that all the time I think I don't have the stuff but it's all just holding it in its crafting grid it confuses the heck out of me let's uh throw this recipe in here and uh, I think we already, effectively, already can craft those automatically. So let's go down there. Oh, not there. Let's go here, go to solar. High red solar. I'll do one. I just wanted to get the one to have it done. And what happens if I try to do another one? So solar, we won't have everything on hand now because I didn't pre-craft everything. But it looks like you can do it all. So let's start one. And kind of watch it here for a second. It's crushing down uranium. It's going pretty fast. Wow, just like that. That isn't bad at all. So it's going to take a little longer now because I think I just burnt through all my iron plates that I have. So it's going to have to do those. But what I think I'm going to do here, do a little cut. Um, I'm going to make six more of these puppies and probably some more transformers. And then we'll get to work on the centrifuge. Or not centrifuge. What am I even making? I want to make an industrial grinder, so I'm going to get into that. And okay, I'm back, and uh, our hybrid solar panels are all done. We got eight of them. Uh, I also set up this, the advanced machine block. Um, I set it up on auto crafting, so we needed it for a lot of the tech reborn stuff, so I just figured I'd get it done. The only thing we didn't have, well, was this, which is just the refined iron tickets as a circle, which we could make super easy. Uh, the refined iron tickets are made in, what is that thing called? I always forget this thing here. 
the electric crucible. You just throw steel in there and you get your molten steel. Then you put it in the electric solidifier and uh, it'll pump out refined iron ingots. So super simple. And uh, that's done. Uh, we have to make advanced alloy too. It has its own mixed metal ligate for this mod. So refined iron ingots, bronze, and tin. And uh, I just have that cooking up in an alloy smelter. Um, so that's automated. Now we can make those on the fly whenever we want. Um, I also made a macerator and three extractors because that was part of the recipe. So we're going to look at the grinder here. Uh, we have to make one of these industrial electrolyzers. I already made the macerator. We have advanced machine block now. And we're going to make diamond cutting heads. Which can take diamond plates. Which can be done... Looks like a metal form will work. Let's go to diamond. Let's grab four of those. And let's see if those work. And a metal former. They seem to. Sweet. Give those a second and see if we can make these puppies. Here we go. Oh, we might have enough steel plates. We don't. Let's go to uh, steel here. Let's do like 10 of those real quick. There we go. Let's try that recipe one more time. Actually, let's just do this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do that. And there we go. We got a diamond, uh, diamond grinding heads. Uh, we need to make an industrial electrolyzer too. That's why I made the three extractors. So that's good. There we go. I think we need to make another one of these too. I'm just not going to right now. Um, that's a future machine. Uh, but the recipe seems pretty cheap on it actually. So it's not a big deal. Mesa Reader. So I think we can make everything now. I think we can actually, yeah, we can make the industrial grinder. So that's pretty sweet. We got that now. Uh, we've got power. I've got us fiber. We are going to need a bucket of water. That's for sure. And there's still a couple more blocks we've got to make here, but I just want to get everything else with us. So we have a good idea here. So the guide says we need 18 standard machine casings and 8 reinforced casings. So let's check out the price, well, the price, the recipe on the standard machine casings. And that's not bad at all. So let's see here. Which casing is that? That is a machine block. Do I have any of those in the system? I have one. So I should be able to set up the recipe. There we go. We can. So that's simple. The other one was called... What was the other one called? Reinforced machine casings. Okay. Forced. I think it's that one. Yes. And hopefully I got enough steel. Yeah, I made 10, didn't I? That should be good. Let's see. What what do we need here? We just need one of those... Uh, oops. Advanced. Machine blocks? Oh, it does go to machine. Machine block. Block? <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> block is going to take forever to find it. What was it called? The advanced machine block. Oh. It's because I'm in this terminal. It drives me crazy that you can't, by default, <laughs> look at the craftables. I should always keep it there. I don't know why I do that. Um, what am I doing here? Advanced machine block. Advanced machine block. Is it here? I still don't see it. Am I blind? Oh, there it is right there. There we go. Get that done. Hopefully I have one of these pretty quick. There we go. Excellent. And I should be able to take that, do that. And then we'll have this on craft, which is pretty cool. And it looks like we'll end up with two extra of this when we do the crafting, because you get four. And this you get four as well, so we'll get the exact amount. So let's look at that now. Let's look at standard. Let's try making... We need 18, it's gonna give us 20. So it doesn't really matter. Let's just get those done. There we go. That doesn't take very long. Let's get rid of that. And the other ones were called, what are they called? Reinforced. I can't remember for the life of me. There we go. And we need eight of these. I guess I could craft five, it wouldn't matter. Here, let's just do eight. There we go. Four. What's it waiting on? Oh, it's done there now. I'm being impatient. Sweet. 
I think that's everything we need. Uh, this thing I know takes water too, so I'm going to steal this tank for right now. Actually, do I have inter tanks on craft? I don't think so. Inter tank. No. Okay. Let's skip that for now. Actually, what is an ender tank? It's just Klein flask, isn't it? Ender tank. You know what? Let's forget that for now. <laughs> Let's get this done. I've done enough of that today. There we go. Oh, maybe? Could I have that? Sweet. Thank you. <laughs> and do we need anything else? If we do, we can come back. Let's go up here. This is going to be where I set it up. Uh, I need to kind of figure out in my floor here where everything is. Come here. I guess I can go that far back. So let's do that. Let's do that. So we need a 3x3 three three area. And I'm destroying my base horribly. Which isn't nice. There we go. Let's uh, just fix that. Because that's going to drive me and that'll drive me. Let's uh, break 3 here. There we go. And we should be able to put the industrial grinder down. Right here. There we go. And I think we can go to, yeah, toggle, multi-block, hologram. That'll give you an idea how it's built. I already know how this one's built, so it's not a big deal. It explained it pretty good in the book for this one. Now, I keep turning it on and over and over again. So, I think on the bottom, it's just this. So, yep, 3x3 three three of the standards. Then a donut of this stuff. The most non-tasty donut ever. Uh, we're going to need a bucket of water, which we then pour in there. Then our standard machine casings on top. There we go. And we've got our multi-block. That was pretty cool. JEI. It's weird that it says JEI. That's really odd. Hologram, like you need it. Okay. So I guess we need power. So I figured the power, we'd run along here somewhere. Do that. You know what? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm doing horrible things. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's just set up some solars here. And like I said, these are more power than we need here. But uh, I'm going to be using these to upgrade later into the, uh, you know, the much better version. What is the other version? Is it the quantum? Is that the top one? Yeah, we'll be turning these into quantums later on. That's the main reason I wanted so many of them. Let's just get it to that point now. Then later on, it's less <laughs> auto crafting I need to set up later, right? So that is that. Uh, oh, we need transformers. Or this is going to blow up this machine. Because these uh, solars put out 64 EU. So it's on the same uh, voltage. I think that's what called tier 2 voltage, I believe. Because it's uh, the same as the 128 voltage. Let's go to LV. There we go. Let's do that. I already made those puppies. They are super cheap. Because we're going to have to get in here. And we're going to have to run some cable. Guess we can pull the power out the bottom. You can see here it's produced power. It says, oh yeah, max output 128, generating 64. So you know exactly how much power it's producing. I'm gonna pop some of these down. I'm going to have to rotate all these. Really quick, so pop, 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 and pop. And I should be able to, once I find the machine, there we go, get this linked up to power. It'll have quite a few packets, which was kind of my goal. It didn't blow up, so that's a good sign. <laughs> there we go, and it's got power. Okay, let's get this covered up a little bit. So it doesn't, you know, totally drive me. It does not make me insane. I may end up with two of these two if it's as slow as I think it is. <laughs> we'll see how slow it is. There we go. And there we go. Is it going to get water? It's not getting anything. There we go. It's getting water now. It's not showing it in there, though, which is kind of odd. But it says it has 16 bucks. 16 bucks. 16 buckets. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take its word. Let's head downstairs. Uh, let's grab some bauxite. You know what? 
I don't have to go down there. I have to remember in my head that we have a storage bus on it. <laughs> Be a bauxite. There we go. We don't have a ton of this, so I may have to move the extractor. Uh, but that's a good start right there. I just want to get a feel for how this machine works. And what's it going to do? So that seems pretty simple. So that's doing its thing. It's staying in water. Seems pretty straightforward, actually. Uh, yeah, that's actually really simple. Okay, so you actually get a fair amount of this bauxite dust. You get four per? Or how many is it doing? It's No, it's doing one. And it's getting four per. So it's not as bad as I thought. Um, oh, I guess, because you need 12. So every three bauxite will give you two titanium dust. This is actually pretty bad. So two titanium dust for three bauxite. <laughs> And you need four to make a titanium. So it's six ore, six bauxite ore to make one titanium. That is actually pretty horrible. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to make the electrolyzer now real quick just to get the process of making titanium. Let's see here. And see if we can make electrolyzer. We can. Okay. What's the power on this one? This one could take... 128 so it could take a direct solar actually two direct solars but it uses but it uses the eu on these machines don't make any sense <laughs> but it takes 120 here 50 there what why not let's make this one take 106 who came up with these numbers <laughs> Were they drinking household cleaning fluids? I, like, I don't even get it at all. Yeah, 5 EU. Sounds great. That sounds like a good number. 80, 90, sure. <laughs> oh, someone had too much time on their hands. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to set this one up super quick. I don't think this one is a multi-block. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> Let's go check, actually. I did read the book. Uh, here, guide. Let's see here. Does it say anything about the electrolyzer? Electrolyzer. Increasing temperature. I know we got to, yes, yeah, melt it down. Then you should work towards the industrial blast furniture. See, I'm confused. So. See, they kind of tell you. You also need an electrolyzer. Okay. It doesn't say whether this one's a multi-block. So I'm going to throw this one down. It doesn't seem to be. Okay. And this one can, says input tier medium. Let's see if I blow this up. We're going to find out. Nope, we're good. Okay. <laughs> I really don't know. Okay. So how does this thing work? Show recipe. See, this is confusing as heck. Do you need empty cells? Is that what I'm missing? Yeah, so it's shown here that all I should need is 12 bauxite, right? Bauxite dust. Bauxite dust. 12. Right? There. And then these. Why did that work not work the first time? I am actually confused. Is it really that slow? Can it take more power? Okay, this thing can take a lot more power than it says. Because uh, that's still not maxing it out. Okay. Wow. And it's still slow. This is a slow machine. Does Tech Reborn have uh, speed upgrades? Tech Reborn. Data orbs. That must be for some kind of replication. Not seeing anything that looks like a speed upgrade to me at all whatsoever, actually. And there we go. But we've got our first titanium dust. That's pretty cool. But we're getting our first titanium dust. 
getting our first that. I'll have to, you know, automate the extraction of the items. And maybe the piping in. Um, I could easily throw the uh, all the bauxite straight into this. I might need two of these. Actually, the bauxite, I don't need two. I might need two electrolyzers. This thing seems slow as dirt. Just look at that. But once we have four of this, hydrogen cell, what am I going to use that for? Deuterium? Oh, tritium? Sure, I'd love some tritium. In a fusion reactor, deuterium and tritium equals helium-3. Helium, deuterium into helium plasma. I think that actually, yeah, I think that makes a lot of power, doesn't it? Yeah, 3,000, holy moly, 32,768 EU a tick for 1,024 seconds. Wow, that's actually a lot of power for just that. There we go. This is what I want, though. We should be able to take that and do that. There we go. We got our very first titanium dust, which is pretty cool. And uh, we should also be able to do our rubies in here. I can't look at the recipe right now. But uh, I think that's something we can do. And we get free aluminum. Not that there's really anything I do with that. Uh, but at least you don't you use your bauxite, but you still get some of your aluminum back. Because that's what we use bauxite for anyway. Not that I really have any use for aluminum these days. In any large amount whatsoever. But uh, this was uh, actually pretty simple. Most of it was just setting up the power. These things take a lot more power than they say. I have to throw that out there. Uh, a lot more. I'm going to have to create more packets of power probably for this one. Although this one's going at an okay pace. This one is a problem. I think I'm going to end this one here. So, as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It's much appreciated. I want you guys all to have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.